almost 200 years ago in New Yorker by the name of Clement Clark Moore, wrote what he deemed to be a silly Christmas poem for his children. We know it as, Twas the Night Before Christmas. The story was later published and soon became a classic. But many people do not know that today's conception of Santa Claus being a plump fellow who climbs down chimneys to deliver toys originates from the poem. Reading the tale has become a timeless Christmas tradition in homes across the country. So we thought we would try our hand at it. Here is our very own Twas the Night Before Christmas. Twas the Night Before Christmas by Clement Clark Moore. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds when visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and me in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all as dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head, soon he gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. Beautifully done. Oh. Beautifully done, oh, Charlie. For some odd reason, I feel like snuggling in your lap right now. <laughs> oh, what is that? But doesn't it remind the crackling no, of the fire? Does it remind you of when you were a kid yeah. and you used to yes. read that either to your own children or it was read to you? And we can all still say the words. Well, I wasn't is, trying to go to a bad place there. I'm just, it was very nice. I think One more time, the magic of Paige Kendi. Yeah, oh, of course. We need to make a list of all the things we loved about that reading. It's Charlie. a classic. We'll look at the most unforgettable moments of the week next on CBS.